If you told me that seven years ago when I founded the Blessing Basket Project, we would all be here at a grand opening in a 14,000 square foot warehouse in the Paraquad building, celebrating social enterprise today, it's not anything I could have ever have imagined. What I didn't know when I started the Blessing Basket Project is that the St. Louis region created the perfect formula for success. This region has forward-thinking philanthropists, political leaders, business leaders, educators, mentors, all of which have come together to create the foundational social enterprise ecosystem that not only helped me become a social enterprise leader, but built our organization into a social enterprise pioneer, enabling us to lead poverty reduction in the world. That's why today we are proud to have you join us as we open our world headquarters right here in St. Louis, Missouri. There is no possible way that we can repay all of you for what you have done to make our organization a success. We choose instead to pay forward your investment in us and pay that forward to emerging social enterprises in our community. Your investment will live on through the mentoring that we commit today to provide to them. Paying forward is the greatest gift we can offer for all you have done and all you continue to do. The Blessing Basket Project understands uniquely the power of collaboration and coordination and forming strong partnerships. Many of those partners who helped make today a success, energizer for underwriting all of today's activities because they recognize the power of positive energy. Paraquad for all of the cleaning and shining right down to the chairs that you're sitting in today. The Scholar Shop of St. Louis for providing my wardrobe today. And Lord knows if you saw the rest of my wardrobe why that was so important. <laughs> Lifetime Media for providing the live stream coverage of today's press conference. Syntech for setting up all of our technical video and IT needs. Whole Foods Market for putting together the Spirit of St. Louis baskets, which I hope you will all take a look at inside. And the countless volunteers who helped us prepare for this very special day. And of course, the Mission Center, our fellow social enterprise, for helping coordinate a week of social enterprise activities around our grand opening. Please join me in thanking these wonderful supporters. Moving our world headquarters to St. Louis has opened up unbelievable opportunities for us to serve our artisans stronger, better, faster. Through the process, I've had the privilege of meeting and working with Rodney Krim, the executive director of the St. Louis Development Corporation. He has some exciting announcements for the St. Louis social enterprise community. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Rodney Krim. Good morning, and thank you, Teresa. This is just a wonderful day in the city of St. Louis. Again, my name is Rodney Krim. I'm the exec executive director of the St. Louis Development Corporation, and our job is to facilitate business development and real estate development in the city of St. Louis, bringing more jobs and tax revenues to the city. So whenever a new company comes to St. St. Louis, it's an exciting day for all of us. So I'm happy to be here today on behalf of Mayor Francis Slay to celebrate the Blessing Basket's relocation of its world headquarters to the city of St. Louis. I also want to acknowledge Patrick Bannister, who's in the audience today, who works with uh, businesses all throughout the region, and Michelle Stuckey, uh, who's here as well. We have a number of partners in the room. Uh, Denny Coleman, uh, my partner on the county side, together we're trying to create uh, a, a number of opportunities where we can work together and bring more entrepreneurial experiences here to St. Louis. 
We know that the Blessing Basket do, could do business anywhere in the country, and for that matter, anywhere in the world. We're so happy that they've chosen to stay in the region, and especially that they chose this great central location to provide their clients that they serve all around the world. The need for social enterprise lending became apparent to us when we heard the story of the Blessing Basket. We were here about a month ago. There was a truck shipment that had just come in, and baskets were just falling out the truck. It was just a wonderful, wonderful sight. One of SLDC's incentive programs is small business lending, but our current programs did not provide an opportunity for social enterprises. So we put on our thinking hats after that meeting and talking with others, we are now pleased to announce that the city of St. Louis has formed a new joint venture to provide capital and other assistance to businesses in this growing and innovative area of entrepreneurship. The St. Louis, thank you. It's called the St. Louis Social Venture Capital Fund L3C. So SLDC will partner with Justine Peterson's Great Rivers Community Capital Program and the Mission Center, I saw Chris over here, a business assistance center for nonprofit companies. This will be one of the nation's first venture capital funds to provide loans and lines of credit to social enterprises. I think that's worth another round of applause. So to do this, SLDC will provide $38,000 to the St. Louis Social Venture Capital Fund. Then our investment will be used to leverage more than $250,000 in new lending programs from the U.S. Department of Treasury. That's six and a half times our investment. We recognize the importance of social enterprises to the economic health of the city. They create jobs, independence, and improve the quality of life, not only around the world, but here at home. We welcome the blessing basket in the city, business community, and on that note, on behalf of Mayor Francis Slay, I would like to present a proclamation to Teresa Wilson, founder of the blessing basket. That is pretty exciting. <laughs> what a huge fund. All of you in the audience today knows the challenges that the Blessing Basket Project has faced in its history with working capital. And you remember my comments earlier that it's important to us that we pay forward what you have invested in us. And part of that was paying forward some of the hard knocks that we had along the way. We want to make the environment in St. Louis for the social enterprises coming behind us easier. And we are very grateful to the SLDC for making that happen. Thank you so much. An important leader and partner in the social enterprise community in the St. Louis region is certainly Washington University. We wouldn't be where we are without the university's connections to Robert Scandalaris, who is our founding sponsor, along with the acumen and resources provided by university staff and students, many of whom are with us today. All of it happened under the direction of Chancellor Mark Wrighton, who has played a critical role in developing and nurturing social enterprises like the Blessing Basket Project. Please help us welcome Chancellor of Washington University, Dr. Mark Wrighton. Thanks very much, Teresa. It's great to be here on this important occasion for you and the Blessing Basket Project and also for St. Louis but most important for the people you're serving around the world. We in St. Louis are grateful to have many wonderful institutions, and the Blessing Basket Project is now added to a list of very significant institutions playing an important role all around the world in business, education, medicine, agriculture, all great contributions from this community. I have to say, being acknowledged as a leader in social enterprise is not really comfortable for me. I, I need to confess to all of you that just a few years ago, I didn't understand the terms social entrepreneurship. But with Teresa Wilson's help, 
I'm a pretty quick study, and I've come to appreciate just what a remarkable undertaking this has been. I'm grateful to the director of the Scandalera Center for Entrepreneurial Studies, Ken Harrington, for seeing the wisdom of making effort to nurture the development of new enterprises, both for-profit and those involved in social enterprise. Each of these undertakings can bring enormous benefit to our community, and we are investing even more in building programs that will lead to new enterprises right here in St. Louis. Teresa is now one of the world's leading social entrepreneurs. I credit her with being our blockbuster success. She is obviously dedicated, caring, creative, and a person with great business sense. She's also articulate, and we tell our budding entrepreneurs they have to be able to make the case, and she clearly can. She is a wonderful asset to this organization, to our community, and to the world. So it's rewarding to be here. We at Washington University look forward to continuing our collaboration with the Blessing Basket Project and other new enterprises in St. Louis. We look forward to your continuing and great success, and we hope that you'll continue to engage the Washington University community. By moving to this new location, we're a little closer physically, and uh, we look forward to be involved, and to be helpful, and to illustrate to the young people that we recruit to St. Louis as students that great things can happen with the kind of dedication, creativity, and commitment that's illustrated by Teresa Wilson. Thanks for inviting me. Thank you so much, Dr. Wrighton. Under County Executive Charlie Dooley's leadership, St. Louis County has long recognized the importance of nurturing not only small business, but social enterprise. To that end, they have developed the St. Louis Regional Business Plan Competition. One of the winners of this year's competition was the Mission Center, an L3C social enterprise and charter member of the newly formed St. Louis chapter of the Social Enterprise Alliance. Please join me in welcoming a champion of small business and social enterprise, St. Louis County Executive Charlie Dooley. Well, the first let me say good morning to all of you, to Teresa Wilson, to Dr. Wrighton, to Redden and Krim, all of you. I'm extremely happy to be here for a number of reasons. First of all, this thing that Dr. Redden talked about, I think is very interesting, social enterprise. They play an important role in our community. They really do things that the private sector don't do. But when the private sector work with, the, with those social enterprises, what a great partnership it, it means. For example, when someone says the, will, the world headquarters, think about that, world headquarters, not regional headquarters, but the world headquarters is right here in St. Louis. That is really saying something. Second, the blessing basket. To me, that is simply an outstanding thought. Think about this. Teaching someone how to fish, teaching someone how to care for themselves, not giving them something, but training them and teaching them something where they can be entrepreneurs themselves. That is simply outstanding. That is how we move forward in the 21st century. It's not about giving somebody something. It's about helping someone to be the best they can be, and that's what the Basket and Basket has done. And third, the partnerships in the St. Louis metropolitan area, Washington University, the Mission Center, great entrepreneurs, they are making a difference. I've said this over and over again. When we work together as a community, we move together and achieve great things that we can't do individually. So on behalf of St. Louis County, I want to say congratulations to the world headquarters of the Blessing Basket here in the St. Louis metropolitan area. And by me saying that, I do have a proclamation as well. 
It's not as large as the mirrors, but it's the do. <laughs> I can get the gold one next time. I'm going to read a couple of paragraphs as I will. Whereas the Blessing Basket Project is honored to host the first Social Enterprise Day in St. Louis, bring together the many non profit organizations in the area in the spirit of collaboration to share best practices and resources to improve our communities. And whereas the Blessing Basket Project empowers entrepreneurs in Bangladesh, Gandia, Madagascar, Uganda, with wages to create a cycle of entrepreneurial driven growth resulting in permanent financial independence and stability. Now therefore, I, Charlie A. Dooley, County Executive of St. Louis County, Missouri, do hereby proclaim Tuesday, September the 13th, 2011, as Social Enterprise Day in the greater metropolitan area, also in St. Louis County as well. Okay. Small weapon. <laughs> okay. Gonna look at eyes here, please. Eyes at Heather. Okay. Are you ready? Everybody ready? All right. And wish me luck. Here we go. On three. One, two, and three. <laughs> it doesn't cut. Thank you. joining us this morning. We greatly appreciate it. The Blessing Basket Project team now invites you to enjoy our facilities and take a look around. And again, our most humble thanks for everyone for joining us today. Thank you so much. Hey! <laughs> 